Yo, this is your boy Big Al. You might know me by Superman. All the way from Louisiana down here at the Life in Hip Hop concert sponsored by the South.com. Austin, Texas, South by Southwest 2011. It's crazy. Yeah, what's been the highlight of your weekend so far? Oh, the panel discussion today, uh, earlier today with... Uh, uh, I mean, with what I mean, with all the guys, they share some incredible stuff. Mm -hmm. But who stuck out to me mostly were uh, the two that, that stuck out the most were the ambassador and Fonzworth Bentley. Mm -hmm. I mean, and uh, one one word that the ambassador shared, he said, "God can actually cause injury to make you lie down in green green pastures if you don't take the time to fellowship with Him like you need to." So I was convicted by that man, and. Uh, I'm still, I'm still, that's, that word is still mulling over in my spirit. So, yeah, and that was, that was the highlight of my weekend. Yeah, cool. And uh, you've had some dramatic uh, <laughs> image change. Tell me a little bit about that if you don't well, mind. Well, look, so. man, look, um, you know, I, on the 26th of April, we're releasing my new album called The Balancing Act. And um, I'm firmly a believer of trying to achieve balance in my life in every area. So uh, you're looking at a big Al who eight months ago was 69 pounds heavier. Uh, and of course, um, I'm still trying to drop. Still working mm -hmm. hard. Still, still. Yeah, you can get all you. You yes. try to show the smell. Yeah. The profile, the profile. No, but you know, just trying to do some different things, man, and just really, uh, really go in about what we need as far as balancing the body. You know, being a high school math teacher and then being an MC. You know, that that's an incredible phone from change. So we're really accentuating the uh, the Superman iconography versus the Clark Kent appeal of that, mm -hmm. and then as well, uh, pride versus humility, arrogance versus confidence. Like really going in on those particular things, strength versus weakness. And so uh, I'm just trying to achieve balance in every area of my life. And uh, weight was one of those things that I was very off balance in and I'm still working hard. So, And Sketch actually, I mean, encouraged me online on Twitter because Sketch actually dropped some pounds years ago as well, man. And uh, and that still sits in my spirit today, too, that, you know, if, if one of my brothers did it, I can do it, too. So. Yeah, yeah. And tell me a little bit about the radio show you're doing. Now you're you're on the other side of the artist spectrum. This is the man right here. Yeah, Chino. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, the Feel the Power radio show, our tag is, well, we want you to feel the power in your spirit and in your speakers. Every Friday night, man, we do it from 8 p.m. to midnight on the largest uh, CCM station uh, out of Monroe, Louisiana. Uh, mm -hmm. one's one nine FM, The Hill, uh, which you can tune in uh, anywhere over, over the world at uh, hillradio.com and can listen live. And tune in, man, every Friday night. We have the best mix of music. We play holy hip hop, black gospel, and we also play uh, CCM music, rock, and everything like that. So uh, we just added to their format. We didn't take away from it. We added to it as an open door, open opportunity to get more of our music exposed to a different audience. So I'm just grateful to be able to do that. Yeah. Do you have a different respect for the radio DJ now? You know what? This is what you don't know, Sketch. My introduction into music was actually as a DJ. When I okay. first graduated from uh, high school, the, the, the job that I got the summer of 1996, I was DJing at a uh, all-black gospel radio station that was on at 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening. It was 1680 AM out of a little town called Start, Louisiana. And uh, that's when I had a different moniker. I went by AC Love. Oh, this is AC Love at KXLA AM 990. Yeah, it was AM 990, by the way. And uh, yeah, man, so that was that was my first. And I fell in love with gospel music from that. And uh, that's when I used to spend uh, Kirk Franklin, Dietrich Haddon, Tone, and then every got Grape Tree record artists that you could think of mm -hmm. from Raz to New Wine to Antonius man I played them all and uh, I've always respected that part man I respect your your job as a journalist you know for uh, you know for, for just getting us out into the marketplace man and uh, yeah man so shout out to every DJ every journalist every promoter every market every marketing person who helps us get before the people God bless you all you're much needed and we don't give you guys props enough thank you so much for what you do yeah and one last thing Last time we were together, you uh, were telling me about your love for country music and even sang a little bit. So when's the Big Al Country album coming out? I got a hater to my right when it comes to the country music. My best friend <laughs> Eric Wilkes, but uh, yeah, that's him. But uh, man, look, I'm really, I'm really trying to shout this song. that's called Handle with Care, and a lot of people don't know, but I did get a chance to sing it for you guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love country music, man. And 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 uh, not just uh, I love today's current country music. I'm a huge Brad Paisley and Keith Urban fan. Sugarland and all those guys, man. That's, that's just what I love, and uh, along with what we do. So I know it's kind of eclectic, but that's how God built me. So you keep your eyes open because I'm actually going to start doing some uh, YouTube videos where I'll be tagging some uh, some eight bar verses on some of the spaces that Keith Urban and Brad Page are leaving their songs. So it's going to be coming. BigAlMusic.net. Watch, watch, watch.